This is just a fun story about a little boy who problem solves and makes lots of different choices. It is a funny story and it is a fantasy story. It is not real. Tell me what you think. It's called Stuck and it is by Oliver Jeffers. It makes me giggle. All right. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. Oh no. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock down the kite. And that got stuck too. Oh no. I wonder what he's going to do. Oh, so he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. So in order to knock his uh, other shoe down, Floyd fetched Mitch. Oh, cats are good at climbing trees, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> cats get stuck in trees all the time. But this was getting ridiculous. Oh, no. A kite, two shoes, and a cat. So Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this once and for all. Okay, now Floyd is thinking. Don't you think so? This will end. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. Oh, no. What's he going to do now? The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. <laughs> then Floyd tried. Oh, my goodness. Would you have done this? A duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. He took his front door off of his house. Oh! The family car to knock down their front door. Hello? Did you get up here the same way? He asked the cat. The milkman to knock down the family cat. And orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere else to be. Oh, no. Look at the orangutan. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. Oh, and the neighbor said, Floyd, he's in the house. Oh, no. <laughs> what would you do? A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. Hi, what you doing? A curious well in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Oh, no. And they all got stuck. Wait till I tell your mother. <laughs> yeah, poor neighbor. Would you look at that tree? That can't be. But you know what? He didn't give up, did he? Hmm. Not good problem solving, though, huh? A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Can we help at all? And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. Oh no! What is Floyd thinking? And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and he went to find a saw. He lined it up as best as he could, it up the tree. Oh no! And that was it. 
There was no more room left in the tree, and the kite came unstuck. <gasps> Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Oh, no. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea, the fireman says, who's still stuck in the tree. Oh, no, Floyd. He got his kite back, though, didn't he? But look what he forgot. Oh, my goodness. What was your favorite part of that book? It really made me laugh.